Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Together we are three men you won't believe actually exist. Yeah. It's true. No one believes it. No? Could be AI generated, could be holograms. Yeah. Imagine that. We could be we AI. We might actually just be some guys that are in whiteface and it's all spiralled out of control a bit too much. Could nope. be really Indian, you know. No? Not going to go with me on that. Yeah, right. I'll put the shovel, Dave. We'll <laughs> yeah. get it polished off for you. Uh, right then, 10 men you won't believe actually exist. What would these be uh, like then? Right. 10 men you won't believe actually exist. I think it's going to be like uh, the thumbnail shows someone that's massive, right. like, like, you know, jacked and tall. Right. So it might just be like, you know, people that are proper freaks of nature. Right. Yeah. Bigfoot. Is he a man? Don't know. Depends. You need to ask him, don't you? Yeah. Might be gender fluid. You never know. I'm sure we'll catch what we're going on about. Let's do it. Ten men you won't believe actually exist. Ten men you won't believe exist. Number ten. Yu Xinhuan. Yu Xinhuan from China is the hairiest man in the world. Since the age of two, he has suffered from a rare con- He's older than two there. <laughs> Soft life. I, I think, think so, really four. Yeah. You wouldn't if if you had to answer a question. And someone said, "Where is the hairiest man on earth from?" You wouldn't jump to China, would you? Probably not. Probably, I'd probably not, go with yeah. the Middle East. Yeah, yeah. But that's, uh, that's hairy. That is a hairy that guy. Is, isn't isn't it? Very much so. Needs to get sponsored by Manscaped, doesn't he? Yeah. Condition that makes hair cover ninety-seven percent of his body. Yu has had five operations to remove the hair from his nose and gums to prevent infection. Yu's eyelashes also hide his eyes. He says that he didn't used to like going outside and being seen, but since his fame from his hair, wow. he now aspires to be a rock star. Number nine. Wow. I think his name would be as a rock star. I was just thinking that. Harry Styles. <laughs> hey. Oh, I know. Hey. <laughs> I can't think of any others. I'm, I'm completely blank. Yeah. No, but I mean, you must be able to like get a sponsorship from V or something, and just every morning cream yourself up with V. <laughs> it grows back thicker, doesn't it? <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. His parents were just shaving him in it as a kid. Oh, Start shaving man. as a kid. <laughs> Chandra Bahada Danji. Chandra from Nepal stood one foot and nine inch tall, making him the shortest man to ever live. Wow. After winning the title in the Guinness World Record book in 2012, he travelled around the world, despite never leaving his village where he had grown up before winning the title. Chandra died on the 5th of December 2015 at age 75 from pneumonia. Number 8. Wow. What were you going to say? I was going to say he died age 7. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a little kid. <laughs> so one foot nine yeah, inches. Big foot. Jeez. It's a big foot. <laughs> big foot. One foot nine. Oh. What? I wonder what the biggest feet are on earth. Like, who's got the biggest feet and how they compare to the smallest man. Yeah. Like, if you put some absolute the giant next shoe it. next to him, and it's like... You're probably the tallest man that ever lived. His feet were probably, I would guess, the biggest, maybe. I just wonder how the shoe compares to that guy. Yeah. He'd, He'd probably be, use it in the bed. <laughs> Get swept in at night. Arlindo de Souza. In 2014, this Brazilian man injected his arm muscle with uh, a potentially lethal concoction. That's that just odd, doesn't it? Wow. That, that's got to be synthol, which is like, you know, the, the pretend stuff they put in the muscles. Is that it? just looks fucking disgusting, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. that isn't a good look, is it? No. There's a no. Russian guy that's quite famous or infamous because he's done it to his arms and he looks like he's got gigantic arms. And he, like, he, he has MMA fights with people, but he mm. can't fight yeah. and he's not strong. So he just gets the shit beaten out of him. Yeah. He's a bizarre looking guy. 2014, this Brazilian man injected his arm muscle with a potentially lethal concoction to make his muscles grow to an unbelievable size. The concoction consisted of alcohol and oil which he injected into his arm. Immediately after the injection, his arm started to swell up. Arlindo is a big fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger and can now mirror his physique with his 29 inch biceps. Many people have died from the substance, including Arlindo's own friend, Paul Hino, who died from infection caused by the substance. Number 7. Tom wow. Staniford In today's world, many people aspire to be skinny. However, Tom Staniford from England, whose body is 0% fat, probably has a very different ideology. 
He is one of the eight people in the world who suffer from MDP, meaning that he is unable to store fat under his skin. Tom has to eat every 15 minutes to survive and may endure other difficulties that being 0% fat provokes. Wow. He has the top table at... <laughs> uh, what's it called? He's got the joke's gone now. Oh, no. I had it and he's gone. <laughs> what's Skeletor's castle called? Grayskull. Grayskull, uh, yeah. That, that was a bit too elaborate there. Yeah, I know, I know. Even with the right delivery, it would have been know. like, what? I know. Yeah. That's a, I've never even heard of that, though. Zero yeah. percent body fat. And he, I mean, you should team up with the other guy and do He Man Scouts or <laughs> kids' <laughs> parties. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> like the freak show version. <laughs> it's just mad, isn't it? I've never even heard, I've never heard of that neither. No. no. I mean, eating every 15 minutes sounds like it'd be good, but about a week into it, you'd be miserable, wouldn't you? Mm. God, yeah. Survive and may endure other difficulties that being 0% fat provokes. However, his disease hasn't stopped him living life to the fullest. He has a degree in law and French and is now a Paralympic cyclist. Number six, Leonard Stedding. Leonard is a farmer from a small village wow. in the Ukraine and is believed to be the tallest man on the planet. He measures 8 feet and 4 inches and wears size 27 shoes. There we go. Guinness Ooh. attempted to measure him, however, he's very shy and Guinness have stated that he didn't want to appear in the book. However, in 2013, his mother confirmed his outrageous height. Number 5. Patrick Doyle. This 53-year-old American man is the heaviest man in the world. Weighing in at over 1,000 pounds, the yeah. former restaurant owner from Nebraska featured on the documentary The Half-Ton Man. At his worst condition, he had not left his house or his bed for seven years and was so enormous that his bedroom wall had to be cut out to extract him from his home. Number four. Wow. I think I've seen that on one of the TV things. Didn't they have to crane him out? I've seen that happen to a couple <clears> of people. They set the front of the wall out and then yeah. craned him out. So I think they tried to do something about it. Is it over 1,000 pounds? Yeah. That can't happen without being enabled massively. Because if he can't leave his house, how's he getting food? Who's cooking for him? Yeah. You know, there's got to be other people complicit in getting that big. Mm. Yeah, it must be, mustn't there? Yeah. It's massive, that though, isn't it? It's yeah, ridiculous. It is Where do you even start? You know, know, if he wants to sort his life out, yeah. What do you do? Probably just control alt and delete, start again. Yeah. <laughs> unplug yeah. and plug back wow. in again. That's big. Gary Turner. Gary Turner from the UK has a rare condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which means he can stretch his skin more than the average human. He can stretch his stomach skin to around 16 centimeters and his neck skin to around 8 centimeters. He claims that the extreme stretching doesn't hurt at all and enjoys showing his stretchiness to his friends and family. Number three, Amu. Mm, it's gonna look like a ball bag by the time he's 16. <laughs> oh, Hadij. This man doesn't have any kind of disease or skin condition. He just hasn't washed in over 60 years. This 80-year-old Iranian man is arguably the dirtiest man alive. He lives a simple life in his tiny village and his most prized position is a pipe that he uses to smoke animal dung with. He smokes around yeah. 100 cigarettes a day and it is not known why he has chosen this bizarre lifestyle. Number 2. Mohammed Ka That is odd. Odd. Dirtier than Philip Schofield, isn't he? Oh, oh. He's probably living in your back garden, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Don't even know. That's too much of a mess, apparently. <laughs> Moved out. Hey. <laughs> I'll stay in Iran. <laughs> Despite only being eight years old, Mohammed from India has the largest hands in the world. He is bullied by his peers and villagers believe he is cursed. Together, his arms wow. weigh a staggering wow. two stone. Kalim's parents only earn $360 a year, meaning that they couldn't do anything about their son's hand. However, after gaining international media attention, he is now finally being treated by medical experts in India. Number one. Wow. So much Where of those it? ones are in India, aren't they? I know. They? I, know. I, yeah. I was going to say that. There's a lot of them, but that's... Uh, at first, I wasn't sure if he had big hands or was a little... little Body and little head. Yeah. <laughs> just the tiny kid. It's like, it's, like it's like elephantitis, isn't it? I don't know if that's. Yeah. I know you think people can get it in the feet and legs, can't they? I don't mm. know if you can get it in hands, same type of thing. But I reckon yeah, he's been using that. The night cream they give you to put on your uh, your penis makes it, if you rub it, it makes it big. 
He's just uh, not wore gloves with it. <laughs> just loads of it on it. <laughs> I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> oh, fuck. See, when they said he's bullied by local kids as well, I was thinking, imagine a slap off him. I know, just give you him a slap. Don't slap. Quit yeah, backhand him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do it again. Paul Carrison. Paul Carrison, a.k.a. Papa Smurf, has blue-coloured skin due to a silver compound that he used to treat dermatitis on his face with. He says that he welcomes the nickname Papa Smurf only when it is said by kids. In 2013, Paul died of a stroke unrelated to his skin condition. Thanks for watching. Mm. That was a weird one, wasn't it? That was really, really weird. Really odd. I don't know, imagine waking up in the morning like you see there's something but people just wake up and all of a sudden they're fluent in like German or something yeah have you heard of that yeah yeah, yeah you know, they've been knocked out or something and they wake up and they're fluent in German head yeah, injuries are yeah. a big one aren't they yeah mm -hmm. it's just weird enough. like imagine waking up and you've got purple face like I don't know, yeah. I find what Purple Aki and sort of like take him on. <laughs> I go around squeezing muscles. Yeah. <laughs> the original. Or it's sort of instant now, or whether it's over a period of time. Just like said he was like treating, that. was it treating acne or something, did he say? Or treating yeah, something? Yeah, skin condition, I think, said, yeah. didn't they? But. Just yeah, weird. Strange. Proper That's bizarre. It is. Yeah. Unfortunate that some people have got like. Uh, you know, conditions like that. Mm. You know, we shouldn't laugh at them. But well, looks like the lad was getting sorted out, doesn't it, with, with, the, with, the, hands. with the big hands? So yeah. uh, let's find out what size twenty-seven feet are. Twenty-seven feet. I don't know what size I'm. I'm small feet, me. I'm sort of about average, about yeah. nine. Yeah, same. Something like that. But I can. I do. Well, some of my shoes are a seven. Are they mm. really? Yeah. I says try these on. I went. They're seven. They're not going to fit me. Yeah. You went. Try them on. I tried them on. Seven fit me. Right. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. well, there you go. Bizarre. What's the yeah. size 27 in the UK? Oh, it's giving me Euro sizes, you know, because they have the bizarre... Mm. Yeah, 42. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Mm. It's big anyway. Yeah, will Whatever be. Whatever it is. That, that little guy will probably fit in it. That's what I'm thinking. That's I'm desperate yeah. to know. <laughs> His head might not, though. His head looks like normal size, doesn't it? Yeah, I think they normally are. But he did well to live to 75, really, didn't he? Mm. You know, because I know some afflictions like that can have a yeah. sort of shortening mm. effect, can't they? So, yeah. uh, no, fair totally. play to him. But yeah, I think the stat is that the, the biggest people live the least amount of time. So, yeah. like, the bigger people are, in general. So yeah. that that guy being, they didn't say how tall he actually was, did they? Eight foot they, four. Eight foot was four. it eight foot four? The tallest one ever. He was like eight foot 11 or something. Is it Robert Waldorf? Yeah. yeah. Is he the one that was, there's the picture of him with the world's smallest man as well? Yeah, he had the walking stick in the picture. Yeah. And he got yeah, glasses yeah. On. yeah. Yeah, I think he was five, I'm sure he's about five, eight, eleven. 8, 11, sorry, about 8, 11. Uh, That's but I think he was, I think he, is, I'm sure he was in his 50s again when he died. I think yeah, he died. He don't live long, really. Sort of thing, but. Mm, yeah. Crazy. Oh, them bloody uh, magic peanuts or whatever you get from the game off the cow magic peanuts <laughs> off the cow <laughs> <laughs> look at that bean stock magic beans <laughs> <laughs> anyway I hope you guys enjoyed that don't forget like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next cheers, one guys. cheers guys